book hook. I'm Vanessa from the Spanish Springs Library and today I want to tell you about The Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Ali Carter. This book is published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt and is recommended for readers ages 9 to 12. In this book we follow the story of April who is an orphan who knows nothing about her past except that her mother left her with a key on a necklace and a note promising that she would be back someday. So April has spent her whole life in foster care and group homes, just waiting for the day her mother finally comes back. But one day, her class is on a field trip to the museum to see an exhibit about the Winterborn family, a really old, really wealthy family with their own fair share of secrets and tragedies, including the disappearance of their only heir, Gabriel Winterborn, who has been missing for over 10 years. While she's at the museum, April sees this really old, fancy jewelry box that used to belong to the Winterborn family, and she realizes that the symbol on her key necklace is actually the Winterborn family crest. And she is so sure that her key was meant to open that jewelry box. Unfortunately, her plan to sneak into the museum in the middle of the night and open the box goes awry and a fire burns down the entire exhibit, including April's box. And April is so sure that she is going to be blamed for the fire, she's going to be in huge trouble, and she's never going to get the chance to find out what her key is supposed to open. But instead, the next day, April is invited to live at the Winterborn family mansion and go to school there with the other children they've taken in since turning the mansion into a group home in honor of Gabriel's memory. And when April finally moves into her new home, she realizes that there are more mysteries there for her to solve than just her key. There is a shadowy figure that she thinks she's seen lurking around the mansion in the middle of the night. There are legends about a mysterious character called the Sentinel that no one can really agree on if they're true or not. And there are rumors about what actually happened the night that Gabriel Winterborn went missing and what's going to happen to the Winterborn family fortune and April's new home if he doesn't come back. And most importantly, there's April herself and she needs to figure out what her connection to all of this is and why her mother left her with nothing but a Winterborn key and a promise. Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor is an exciting adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat, finding out the truth along with April and her new friends. I had an absolute blast reading this, and if you check it out, I hope that you do too. If you're interested in reading Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor, you can visit the Washoe County Library website to see the different ways that you can check this book out. I hope that you love it as much as I did. Bye everyone!